Hello everybody, um, welcome to my Q&A response. Uh, this is entirely unscripted, so this is all going to be improvised, and I have not had a single peek, I promise, uh, at the uh, Q&A questions as of yet. I will also be going through the Twitter ones and Facebook as I make my way through them. Uh, if you hear anything in the background, that is probably my girlfriend Chloe watching Rick and Morty. Hello. <laughs> anyway, so let's let's crack on with this. Um, who should we go for first? Let's see if we uh, let's see if anything came up on Facebook. Let's have a look. Yeah, I did get a comment. Okay, Jack Ranson. Oh, it's that guy who's on Twitter is constantly harassing me. <laughs> Only joking. I love you, mate. What's your favourite Did It Suck episode to do and write? And are you going to be covering the new Doctor Who spin-off class? Also, congrats on 2K subs. Your content is good. Oh, stop. Um, okay, so uh, let me think about this. My favourite Did It Suck episode to write is probably... I, I really enjoy writing and making the Harry Potter ones because they're the ones that consist of the most time and effort and energy going into them. And... Uh, I feel like, do like you know, I, I, I do like making Doctor Who videos. I really like doing, you know, I, I don't like doing meh Doctor Who episodes, as I probably mentioned. Um, I really like doing really great episodes or really crap episodes. And um, the Love and Monsters video I made, I, that, that's my baby. Like, that's probably the best Doctor Who review I've made. But um, uh, in response to class, as I, I think most people do know this anyway, but I am... D I, how could I miss the opportunity to review class? I mean... This is going to be the uh, the epitome of bad TV. I mean, I don't know who on earth thought this would be a good idea going back to that fucking school, but it's going to be crap, and I'm going to fucking reap the rewards from it, and I don't care. I can sound as boastful about it as I want. It's going to happen. <laughs> fucking love Rick and Morty. <laughs> I'm still recording, but I don't even know where all how I can get all of these comments up. I'm such a social media novice, honestly. Um, I'll get that up. Let's go back again. Unless my internet has just stopped. Loading seems to be taking a while. I'm going to try again, so... Hashtag review Rick and Morty. Right. To be honest, you can't say anything bad about Rick and Morty, so... No, I can't. But I, I don't want to uh, analyse it either, because, like, I've analysed it. Like, everyone's already analysed it enough already, I think. Yeah. Right, cup of tea in hand. Q&A, right. Will you be reviewing the Matt Smith shenanigans at some point in the future? Of course I will. Don't, don't, don't deny that or doubt it for a second. Because, you know, I, I unfortunately these things do take a little while to get through. And as I've said multiple times, I don't want my videos to be of a really low quality. I, w I want them to be as best as they possibly can be, and if that means taking a while to get through to them, you might not actually see a, a review of a Matt Smith episode until next year. Having said that, I have reviewed the episode with Van Gogh in, so... I mean, I haven't really decided what I'm going to do after I review Fear Her, so we'll go from there. I'm thinking of doing a blink analysis. I don't know. Um, have you read the new Harry Potter book script Money Grab? Any good? Care about Fantastic Beasts? Care about class? George, I swear, God, you've already asked me these questions. Anyway, uh, so uh, I haven't read the new Harry Potter book because I'm, I, I do agree it is, it is a money grab, undoubtedly, but um, I am going to see it on stage in December, two days after Christmas. <laughs> so don't worry, there will be a video, like a kind of response video to it. I'm not going to do a full fleshed out review because I don't have the footage to do so. I might. I'm not sure. I'm. I was planning on trying to get like Deathly Hallows done by the end of this year as well, but you know that's a that's that's gargantuan in film terms. But obviously, it's no bigger than uh, Half Blood Prince. So I'll definitely I'll try my best to get as many of those done as possible. But I will do a little you know my thoughts on Harry Potter and the Cursed Child thing. Um, Fantastic Beasts. I don't care. Um, I. I, have, I don't really... The book's too small. They're, do, they're doing a Hobbit. And, I, you know, I, I'm sure there are people like, oh, yeah, we'll find out more about the expanded universe. Yeah, yeah. Mm, bullshit. Like, like Hollywood has ever done anything like that. Um, 
Class, yeah, I've already mentioned that. Okay, uh, opinions on Doctor Who Christmas special sneak peek. Haven't watched it. I don't watch trailers. What sort of drugs are you taking in prep for series 10? Oh, Jesus. Um, Caffeine. Cyanide. Um, bleach. How many takes does it take you per review? Oh, my God. Um, I do everything all in one go, but sometimes I think what happens is when I cock it up, obviously, I'll make it an outtake of it but um i don't th I, I don't really call it takes i just re i just record it in one big go and i do every single sentence and, and i do every single sentence as um as it comes and if i fuck it up i do it again okay right i think that's it for twitter now we can delve into the um hashtag hmc reviews Hell's moving castle i'll do it i'll get there eventually <laughs> Right, let's do this. Q&A update video with your comments. I'm very sorry if you didn't get the opportunity to do this earlier, but alas. First, oh for fuck's sake. Right, I'll just put all of these in here. I just saw one that said, what is your name? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> okay. God, you sound hot. But my question is, will you review The Waters of Mars? Oh, stop. Um, I might do. It's, it's quite highly demanded, and I wasn't quite thinking it would be. I, I've, I've always kind of thought it is one of those kind of just episodes that I've forgotten about over time, really. But um, you're in between as YouTube poops. You do it in between as YouTube poops? I'm going to fucking check the shit out of them. What is the worst movie you've ever seen? Um, Zero Dark Thirty. Yeah, Zero Dark Thirty. I think Zero Dark Thirty is the worst movie I've ever seen. Um, yeah, yeah, Zero Dark Thirty. That I was, really. That was one of the first things you ever told me that Zero Dark Thirty was your least favorite um, film. It, it was is. Of, one of the first conversations we ever had and you just went on this big rant about yeah. how much you fucking hate it. It honestly is one of the most uninspired, uncreative and <laughs> quite frankly appalling. Like I I just remember how angry you There's got. there's you know there's shaky cam and there's shaky cam in the dark. And that is Zero Dark Thirty's final sequence, and like, and oh yeah, look at how realistic it is, but it's so bloody boring, mm -hmm. and it's so long as well. I, yeah, Zero Dark Thirty. I don't want to go on a big ramble about it. One day, yes. one day, I'll do a Did It Suck of Zero Dark Thirty, and I'll also do the Hurt Locker because that movie sucks as well, but not quite as bad as Zero Dark Thirty, but it sucked anyway. Okay, uh, that's not a question, but you've already asked me a question on Twitter, so that's fine. What do you think about Chris Chibnall taking over Doctor Who after Moffat? Um, I don't really mind. Quite frankly, I could probably settle with stopping at series ten. Like, I'm I'm interested to see what he does with it, but I know it's not going to be like. If he actually does make something good out of it, then like my faith will be restored. But I'm not keeping my hopes up. Not after the past six years of drivel that we'd have to deal that we've had to deal with, you know. Are you going to review the classic series? Oof. I don't know. I, 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 you know, I know a lot of my subscribers do really like the classic series, but I did try. I, you know, there are a few episodes that I've watched and I really enjoy. I like Genesis of the Daleks. I like Caves of Androzani. Um, I like there's a there's a really good Peter Davison one actually called um, the Visitation, kind of a bit obscure. I remember I had it on DVD actually. I really enjoyed it. Um, I haven't watched it in years though, so it might be crap now. But um, I do, you know. I but I what I watched the Unearthly Child, and the pilot is absolutely awesome. I fucking love the pilot. But then the rest of the episodes, when they go and see those fucking cavemen, it's just... Like, I've never seen... Like, it was so bad. It was so bad. Like, I couldn't believe that I was... You know, this is what everyone is going absolute lunatic ape shit about. Oh, please review classic series. And yet there's, there's such poor quality filmmaking. But, like, you know, I, I know it was early days and all that, but... You know, and it's probably out of my... You know, my, my you know, millennial time frame of... 
perspective is not going to quite understand it as well as people in the 60s did but I just didn't really enjoy it that much and I don't know if I really want to review it but I'll think about it I've, I've been thinking about it since I fucking released deep breath review but you know it I'm, I'm not guaranteeing anything on that I don't think it'll really happen I've got so many other projects I want to make and yeah it's a damn good tea you enjoying your tea Claire? cool toughest did it suck video to record mmm that's a good question there's the way, the best way to answer that question is to go back through my did it sucks and find the ones with the most outtakes I think I remember no actually I think probably the hardest one to record would have been the Chamber of Secrets Harry Potter review um, on the basis that it is my longest video and I I was trying to be more professional about it after you know because my my Philosopher's Stone video is very complainy very you know rambly but Chamber of Secrets I felt like I had to really kind of nail this on the head and thank god I did because obviously it's now got over 10,000 views and I was like what the fuck I don't even understand what I did to deserve that but you know and that's probably the most difficult one for me because it 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 was where I thought, you know, th th this is what I really want to do. This is, you know, and I, trying to stay in that professional mindset instead of trying to complain about it kind of got away from me a bit because when shit parts came into Chamber of Secrets review, I did get really shitty about it. And, oh my God, I can't believe it kind of attitude. But yeah, I'd say that one. Um, but also any ones that have got more outtakes are going to be the ones I struggled with more. Also, any thoughts on the 50th anniversary? I will review it. Don't worry. I'm not going to give out my thoughts right away, but yeah. Also, why don't why do you think your GOT videos aren't as popular as your Black Mirror and DW videos, considering the show's popularity? You've answered the question with your own sentence, mate. Popularity. The more popular your TV show is going to be, the more reliant you're going to be on mainstream media to promote your works, right? Game of Thrones didn't receive the attention that I wanted because, um, what for one thing, I didn't upload it bang on the day that it came out like I did with uh, Doctor Who Series 9. Um, and, you know, I felt like... <laughs> I love the show so much that I felt bad for criticising it at times. And, you know, I, I know I got a lot of flack for saying that I didn't like... Excuse me. Cersei's theme in the finale and I still stand by that I still think it's a really bad piece of music to go to that but you know and I I, I know what the fan base is like and I think with Doctor Who being so bad as it is it's very easy to sway people over to your kind of perspective and see that it isn't as good as it is anymore but Game of Thrones has just been consistently brilliant all the way through and trying to nitpick it is like trying to find a needle in a haystack and I think that's probably why it wasn't as successful, but I mean, I don't mind, I, I, you know, it's extra revenue at the end of the day, but I don't, I'm not sure if I was just hitting the right target audience, because obviously Game of Thrones didn't suck, and there was no point in calling it did it suck, it should have been maybe just a standard review, I don't know. Anyway, uh, if you could throw one thing from Doctor Who into a crack in time, what would it be? A smartphone. I definitely throw a smartphone with full battery and a charger. Uh, thanks for the update. My question would you rank the Lord of the Rings films? Uh, my, funnily enough, uh, my I think mine kind of contradicts the mainstream opinion, but um, I still love Lord of the Rings through and through. They are, you know, absolute masterpieces of cinematic excellence. Um, I'd say worst to best would be in backwards order. Uh, Return of the King... Um, I dislike more, but you know I still love it. Um, it's just not my least. Fa it's just my least favorite. And then followed by Two Towers, and then followed by Fellowship of the Ring. Um, but you'll soon find that out over the next year, hopefully. Um, once I finish with um, Harry Potter, I want to. I want to really get into that. I want to really fucking yeah. I want to do Lord of the Rings. If you could cast the next Doctor, who would it be? Ah, oh, now I'm going to have to rack my brains at all the untalented pieces of shit that are on the TV at the moment and try and think of someone. Bear with me. I'd really like to see a really hardened actor do Doctor Who, to be fair. 
But they take it. They probably take it far too seriously, wouldn't they? I was thinking something like Daniel Day Lewis. That would be really cool. But you know, obviously, he'd never stoop that low. <laughs> um, Johnny Depp. <laughs> Johnny Depp would be pretty cool. Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, I don't really. It, it's it's not who it is, as I've said before. It's you know, as long as they're written well. Um, if you know what one is, what's your favourite film movement? Ooh. Um, do you know what? I really, 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 really like the uh, second era of Hollywood, if you can call it that. The, you know, I'm talking the late 60s into right up to 1980. Um, the, you know, the second wave of Hollywood films that were made by creators such as Francis Ford Coppola. You obviously had Star Wars as well. That period of time, I'd say, I don't really want to call it a movement because it was just what happened, you know. And um, I can't really, I, I mean, I don't really kind of sub uh, subscribe to a film movement. Like, you know, I, I don't know enough about the French New Wave, for example, um, to really comment on it. But German Expressionism is is it's certainly very important as well. I really, I, I admire the people that made, you know, Doctor Cabinet of Dr. Caligari is an awesome movie, um, even if it, wasn't made in 1920. What is the most underrated Doctor Who story in your opinion? And what is the most overrated Doctor Who story? Oh my god. Uh, oh. God. Um, underrated, I would say, Family of Blood. No, because I think a lot of people really do appreciate that episode. I don't think it gets enough credit. I think people mm. are too fussed about Daleks and stuff. Oh, <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, good point. Yeah, okay, you know, no, I'll agree with that. I'd say, yeah, Family of Blood and um, Human Nature um, doesn't get enough credit for what it is. Um, and I, I would also say the same for Aliens of London and World War Three. I mean, yeah, they're, they're, <laughs> they're, they're campy as fuck, but I, I really like them. Um, it's, um, but, but overrated. Oh, we, we all know what my opinion on that is. Uh, Heaven, Heaven Sent is possibly the 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 most bizarrely overrated doctor who story i don't quite uh, i i will never you know I, unpopular opinion ha, 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 but i just don't I, I don't think i'll ever understand the appeal in it i'll give it another watch if you all really want me to but i mean i'm not gonna i can't guarantee i'm gonna change my mind on it, um, the one with flies, it? yeah grandma yeah. flies yeah oh my god uh here's my question if you could change one thing about moffat's takeover and direction towards the show doctor who what would it be He, it, well, just for one thing, he shouldn't have been made to be the new takeover. He should have just been one of the, he should have continued just writing stories for it. Um, because as we saw, as we kind of really know, the, um, when he wrote stories as just part of the writing team, instead of writing as a leader, as an executive, his stories were a lot better, were so much stronger. Um, and I don't know if he, he just stopped having that creative flair after Silence in the Library. But, you know, he, there are some decent, decently writ episodes by him in the latest series. But, again, they're so hit and miss. You don't know if they're going to come or not. You know, they could be good. They could be bad. That was very dramatic as I drank the rest of my tea. I'm so ha... That's not a question. What makes you so critical about Doctor Who? Well, I think... In order to answer that, you have to understand that if people don't criticise bad ideas, then the bad ideas will never go away. I think when you've got enough people convinced that the show is as is bad, you know, then then people will stop watching it. Hopefully, I mean, I you know, I I could be doing the adverse. I could be doing the complete opposite effect. I could be getting more people to watch. Doctor Who, but uh, yeah, I, it's j probably just dis down to disappointment. Do you think that Chris? Not yeah, we've already talked about Chris Chibnall, but thanks for the congrats. Anyway, who's the sexiest Doctor? Mm. Probably David Tennant. I, I yeah, I mean he he he's uh, he's for me. I mean your, your picture kind of just gives it away immediately, but. Yeah, David Tennant, I'd probably say. If I had to fuck one of them, I'd definitely say David Tennant.
Why do you stretch out the word party in multiple videos of yours? Does it have a story? <laughs> the, 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 okay, no, I, I will say, I will explain where party has come from because you all, I've, I've been doing it since, for about a year now and you all deserve to know what it means. At one point, me and my housemates... Um, we're gonna have we, 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 yeah we had a party but when we were planning on it we just referred to it as the party like that as if we you know we'd stop midway through the sentence and just change the word to party like that so um just as a laugh really and that kind of transitioned into me putting it into my videos i don't know why i don't know it, 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 for any particular reason why it happened but um yeah that the, the i just then put it in as like a little subliminal uh, thing. I think in when I first started putting it in, it was far too obvious. Now I'm really trying to find the tiniest little locations I can put it in. Because recently, actually, nobody has seemed to have picked up on them. I have put them in there, but nobody really seems to be... Oh, okay, Impossible Planet and Satan Pit video doesn't have one. But the rest of the ones I've done for Series 2 definitely do. But again, nobody seems to have picked up on it. I don't know why. Okay, will you do Classic Who? Yeah, I've already answered that. I knew this would happen. I knew there'd be loads of questions on that. <laughs> Are your TV reviews strictly by episode? Would you consider reviewing a season of Breaking Bad? Oh my god. Well, considering the level of detail that I go into, I don't think it would work that well. I... Oh, funnily enough, though, I was considering doing a Stranger Things Season 1 review, but... Again, it would. I would have to go back through it again, and like, I just don't have the time to do it. Really, um, the TV shows that I tend to stick towards are ones where each episode is different. Every, you know, different setting, different location, etc. Doctor Who's a really good example of this, and Black Mirror is also a very good example of this. Um, and I really like that kind of thing with TV because it, it gives each, you know, it make it gives incentive to watch it next week and see what kind of weird and bizarre things uh, are going on. Um, which is kind of, Series 9 kind of faltered down on that because ultimately there were only six episodes, six stories, um, which, are, you know, it's, it's fine because they were they could have had the opportunity to flesh them out, but obviously they didn't. And um, the stories, uh, it's, just, it's just easier to do it that way because then I can condense it into an episode and talk about just this standalone story. I mean... I don't know if I, 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 I'd never review Breaking Bad, but purely based on it, it being, you know, um, it, it seems like an irregularity amongst all the other TV because it's so good. And I'm surprised that no other TV shows are really taking on that kind of um, aspect of drama, really. Um, I mean, Better Call Saul's pretty cool. It's certainly not as good, but it's it's all right. Um, but no, I, I might do it one day, if you're lucky. Support me on Patreon. I know one day, one day you will get a million. Stop. What video do you enjoy? I've already answered enjoy making. I think, yeah, Harry Potter videos. Is there any show you would want to review but think it might be controversial? Hmm. No, because most TV shows aren't that controversial, really. I mean, Breaking Bad's an example of controversial TV, but, like... I mean, unless I'm missing something. I, I, I wouldn't want to review something that's made by, like, social justice warriors. I I, I want to leave that to the experts, because it, it would... I'm not... You know, I, I'm just a passive viewer. I just enjoy what, like, Sargon, Skeptor, and all of the other skeptic community... Are doing at the moment I'm, I'm i'm no expert in that kind of thing i mean i hate the fact that it's basically infiltrated my university studies enough as it is but if there was a show that um was that catered to that kind of audience i think i'd stay away from it i wouldn't mind reviewing it but um, doctor who's getting pretty close to that kind of level and you know it turns me off a lot but i'm still gonna do it you know because <laughs> Why the fuck not? What did you think of the new Black Mirror trailer and will you analyse the new series? Um, good question. I might do. I haven't watched the trailer because I don't watch trailers, uh, as I've said before. Um, 
I, I, I'm thinking about it though. Don't worry. I will, um, because I, I obviously I'm, I'm only up to, I've got three more episodes to to analyze of series two, and then I mean they they they, they really got popular out of no since that trailer got um, made. So you know I, I I am very thankful for you know the fact that the algorithm of YouTube recommended people who watched that video to come over and watch mine. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'll do it if they're, if they're good. I mean, I don't know because obviously Netflix has now taken it over and I'm hoping because obviously, uh, Charlie Brooke is still on board with it. I'm hoping that, um, it's going to be as good. I mean, we're going to get eight episodes. That's more, it, 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 I don't think people quite get, this is more episodes than we currently have of black mirror. Eight episodes, just, and there's going to be another eight next year as well. Like, that's insane. Like, I don't know if that, I'm not sure if they're just trying to stretch it out or something, but I'm hoping if that's eight individual stories, that's amazing. I would happen, yeah, I would definitely do that if they're worth, if they have the quality that they currently are at. But I'll let you all know through Twitter or whatever the fuck if I'm going to do it or not. Good news, everybody. Yeah, nice question. Clara or Amy? Um, I don't really... I don't really like either of them that much. I'm just going to say Amy because I find her hotter. 1610 or 16 by 9? 16 by 9 because it's 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 globally recognized. It's now the norm for most screens and I would I I it, it's just a really good it's really good for your eyes. Like it's good for your eyesight in terms of ratio, you know. It's it's good. I I like yeah, 16 by 9. All of Black Mirror Or every single Doctor episode remastered, 1080p or coloured and fixed up. I don't quite understand what you mean. Um, Doctor Who... I don't, I, don't, I don't think I want, like, 1080p Doctor Who, you know, because it, the, the the current series is in 1080 already, and, you know, I don't, I don't feel the need to... I never feel the need to for things to be rebooted because they're, they're normally just there for cash grabs. Uh, I have never seen Harry Potter, nor do I care for it. Fight me. No, I'm not going to fight you, man. I don't mind. You can follow my channel for all your others, for all my other things. I, I, this is the thing, like, my channel has got so many different people watching all the different videos I've got, and, I, like, I, I think that's really cool. But it's probably the reason why I've got so little subscribers. Um, well, I say little subscribers. I've got two fucking thousand people. But, um... You know, it's, I, I mean, compare, you know, 2000 isn't a lot in c comparison to what the most successful YouTubers have. So, you know, I don't really mind if you watch any of my videos, to be honest. Like, I know there are some people that watch all of them because they're, you know, treat me like God. But, yeah, I, I, I don't really mind if you haven't watched Harry Potter, man. It's fine. It's cool. Can you put a picture of your face on screen? If it is a yes, great. Can you use your editing software? I have used my face in my videos. Just go and look at um, my bike lock video. That's me. Okay. Okay, I'm going to write a comment with a photo and I can find my phone. I can cut it out, dude. I'm, I'm not going to... I'm not going to... What do are you doing? Now. I'm going to take a photo of you right now and then I'm going to put it in a comment. We could tweet it at me. I can tweet it at you. All right, there you go, people. You can... You can... So... My, my girlfriend's now going to take a picture of me, and, um... Okay, ready? Yeah, so my girlfriend's now going to tweet me a picture of myself, so you can all have a look at my beautiful face. You bastards. Your videos are brilliant and always something to look out for. Here's to the future quality. Oh, thank you very much, Adam Hayden, whoever you are. Do you think you'd die if you drank <laughs> That's the best question so far. Uh, I think you would die, yeah. It's 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 contaminated with all the bad shit that you know needs to come out of your body. That's why it goes out of your body, and it's not like pure water. It's got yellow and shit in it. Of course, you'd probably die if you drank your piss. <laughs> what was you desire to start YouTube? I didn't start YouTube. Some rich executive probably started YouTube. I I you know it was, I think it was started by three people actually. I'm not sure. I'd have to probably have a look at it. It's that old now that I'd have to dig out some research and find out. But I really don't care either way. My desire to start um, making videos on YouTube um, is down to the fact that oh, I've, I've always wanted to do it. Like I, I used to, before I did Doctor Who, um, 
you know, I, I, I wanted to be like your, your, your really boring improvisational gamer, you know. If you go far back enough into my videos, you'll see like these really crappy short videos I made along with um, Dark Souls 2 videos. And I thought at the time, you know, I'd get a whole load of views for it because, you know, it was popular, it was cool, and they never picked up. So, like, I kind of gave up after that. I thought, right, I'm going to have to try something else because gaming is just not my hotspot. So I complained about Doctor Who because I thought, you know, I, I, I did, I started, I was doing my, um, yeah, I just finished my A-level in film studies and I thought, yeah, fuck it, let's do it. Let's, let's just nail to the ground what is bad about Doctor Who at the moment by going through the whole new series. And I did it and it kind of sparked it all off really, I think. Uh, just a, a, just an insistence, you know, I really wanted to do this and now I'm here and I'm, I'm so fucking happy that I can start making this more of a, what do you call it, a, a career, then, you know, what my degree is probably going to get me, which is absolutely fuck all. Uh, congrats on your subs. My question is, what's your favourite Harry Potter book film and why? Well, um, Chamber of Secrets thus far has been my favourite book, but actually I've been really enjoying reading through um, Half-Blood Prince. Um, I mu it might be my new favourite, I'm not too sure. Um, but film, uh, yeah, Chamber of Secrets uh, film, but I also, oh, I don't know, I really like Philosopher's Stone and I also really like Order of the Phoenix films. I don't think there's a perfect Harry Potter film though, like, I think those are the strongest. But I don't really have a favourite, I don't really like having favourites. What is you name? What is, uh... <laughs> what is your name? What is your quest? What is your favourite colour? Um, my name is Harry, as you should fucking know. What is your quest? To be successful on YouTube. And what is your favourite colour? My favourite colour is orange. Thanks for your comment, Mr. Spark. Always appreciated. What was your least favourite Doctor Who story of all time? Um, it's currently tied between Love and Monsters and uh, The Girl Who Died um, so far. But, I mean, I haven't really thought about it that much. Those th they're just the ones that I've reviewed, though. I mean, I... I haven't got to the fucking series five, six, seven shenanigans yet. Why is a raven like a writing desk? Chloe, you can answer that one. Um, I do actually know the answer to this one. It's something to do with... No, I genuinely know the answer to this. It's going to really annoy me. Why is a raven like a writing desk? I've got a feeling it's something with Poe, but I could be wrong. So I've already looked it up, Chloe. Because it can produce a few notes, though they are very flat, and it is never put in the wrong end in front. What do you? Th what, what's yours then? Mine was um, the link between Edgar Allan Poe and the Raven. You know, there's that poem of his, yeah. the Raven Nevermore. Yeah. Um, I, that's what I thought it was. That's what I was told. There's also a kind of philosophy that it's something to do with the. Uh, I think it's going from the Disney film uh, Stark Raven Mad. Mm -hmm. As in, like, you know when you're raving mad. There are many possible answers, um, I'd say. All right. Oh, my God, I've got a, a political question here. What, what is your opinion on the pedestrianisation of Norwich City Centre and the potential impact such a decision could have? Well, I don't really live in Norwich. Um, I, I used to visit it from time to time, but, I mean, I think... You should pedestrianise any city. You should you, because uh, there's a really good video by Black Pigeon Speaks where he outlines why um, cars in um, cities are just generally a bad idea because you know the, the, the people within them become reliant on it, and it also is bad for the environment. So you know, make sure that people are walking, make sure people are cycling because it's good. You know, it's it, people more likely in a, in a city centre are going to be living on their own. So, why not do it? Uh, I don't I don't know enough about it, but, you know, that's just my opinion on industrialised... Well, if it, whatever you want to call it, pedestrianisation, I don't know. I'm, I'm not an expert on that kind of thing. What are your favourite episodes of New Who? Just wondering, really. I, I really like... I really like Blink. Um, I really like... Uh, Parting of the Ways, I really like Doctor Dancers. Uh, I really like Doomsday as well, though, to be fair. Um, 
trying to think of an episode I, I really like from the latest series, but it's quite difficult, unfortunately. Do you watch The Walking Dead? No, I don't. Uh, I, I used to watch it. I watched the first series, really enjoyed it, and then I watched the second series, and that... <laughs> It, I know what it was that I was. I was starting to think, oh, this is really not my kind of show. After that bit with the fucking um, where that zombie gets pulled up from the well, and then it just. <laughs> I'm not going to say why. I, I, I haven't watched it since. I've no interest in watching it. And then somebody will turn around and be like, oh, but in series five it gets really good. Oh, but I don't want to trawl my way through bad series two, three, and four in order to get there. <sighs> Never mind. Will you review the other Star Wars movies? Yes. And what is your favourite Doctor Who monster? Yes. Uh, probably the Weeping Angels, uh, even though they are very overused after Blink. Um, but my favourite... Uh, I, I, I do like... Um, I did really like the Empty Child as a monster. Like It's, it's quite creepy. And uh, Oh, the, the, the Vash and Arada are fucking awesome. I really liked, I, I really liked those as a monster as well. Uh, yeah. Uh, and the final question, do you think America will default on its debt or just print trillions of dollars for China causing mass inflation in the process? Well, that was a fucking biased question. I don't know. I don't know anything about the American fucking economic system. I don't care. Fantastic. All right. Well, thank you all for your questions. I, I've had, I very much appreciate the comments and thanks again for subscribing. You know, 2000 is... I'd, I'd never even dream of it happening. You know, I... I I remember days when I wanted a hundred subscribers, and now I've got twenty times that amount. You know, madness. So yeah, thank you all again. And um, the next video I will be making is Half Blood Prince. I'm not going to make any other videos until that's done. So any Black Mirror and Doctor Who fans, I'm afraid you're going to have to wait until October finishes before that arrives. Any more of those videos arrive in your laps. So, uh, yeah, hope you all enjoyed the video, and uh, thanks for stopping by. See you.